COVID pandemic continues March through schools. Five individuals charged with human trafficking after undercover operation. Sheboygan Falls welcomes Roots Tree Restoration Project. These and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Even with three days worth of stats to report, the 198 new positive tests for coronavirus received in Sheboygan County since last Friday grabs the attention. The ongoing outbreak at Kettle Moraine Correctional Institution near Greenbush had been pushing county figures noticeably higher of late but less than one third of all of those cases in the last three days, 63, were associated with that location. 26 new cases in the county were added Saturday, 62 on Sunday, and another 110 on Monday, bringing the total confirmed cases in the county to 2,369 active cases which do not include the KMCI, now 57, 11 of them hospitalized, 78 recoveries were recorded over the week, and there were no deaths in the daily update from the County Division of Public Health. With 978 test returns received in all, the positive rate was 20.24%. Wisconsin recorded under 2,000 additional cases of coronavirus for the second consecutive day on Monday, when an, with another 1,696 added to the total today, which now stands at 134,359 since the pandemic began. 1,865 had been recorded on Sunday as 8,560 tests in all were received in the last 24 hours, and the positive percentage was 19.8%. Four more percent in Wisconsin died of COVID-19 since Sunday, putting the deaths toll to 1,381. 56 persons entered hospitals for treatment of the disease, and 714 persons are now hospitalized with confirmed cases of COVID-19. With 194 of those in the ICU, another 188 patients are awaiting their test results. 382 persons require ventilators in their fight with the disease. The coronavirus that forced schools to into virtual learning earlier this year and radically reshaped instructional modes for the current year continues to evade efforts to contain its spread. Last Thursday's facility-wide investigations report from the County Division of Public Health listed 18 education settings in the county with active investigations and two Sheboygan area school districts. James Madison Elementary and Horace Mann Middle School reported the presence of COVID-19 too late to make that list. Since the Central High, Jackson Elementary, and Sheboygan Leadership Academy sent notifications to parents on Sunday that the disease had been detected there. Contact tracing is underway at Central and Jackson to find those who had close contact with the known positives. While at the er, Academy, no close contacts were found. And the latest report came on Monday when a letter was sent to Sheboygan North High parents informing them that a positive COVID-19 test case was identified in cohort A. No schedule changes were required due to any of those discoveries. Efforts to replace tree populations decimated by the emerald ash borer have been starting in several locations in Sheboygan County and Roots, or Restoration of Our Trees Sheboygan. It launches its final push of the year in Sheboygan Falls today. Roots is run by the Sheboygan Rotary Club and 
The focus today will be the River Park and the Western Avenue corridor in Falls. Federal, municipal, county, and private sector funding, along with Rotary and Sheboygan County Stewardship Funds, are financing the effort and coordinating volunteer support for the project. began replacing trees in Plymouth in September and over the past weekend added Elkhart Lake and Sheboygan to its project list. Eventually, trees will be also added at the Broughton Sheboygan County Marsh, Gerber Lake and es Esslingen, Roy Seabalt and Taylor Parks. The top agricultural official in the county got a first-hand look at issues faced by Wisconsin dairy farmers during a visit to Double Dutch Dairy in Cedar Grove on Friday. The meeting of the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue, was hosted by Double Dutch owner and Edge Dairy Farmer Cooperative. President Brody Staple, who runs the local farm with his brothers Jory and his father Rudy, Staples said it was an honor and a privilege to host Secretary Purdue and that it is a crucial that farmers bring their voices to them and that need to hear them saying how much higher of the, of the chain of command can you get than the Secretary of Agriculture. Purdue, for his part, said that visiting the farm is a chance to leave D.C. and get a taste of real America and related that those who attended on Friday know what they are talking about. Friday's events was attended by three dozen farmers, cheese processors, and others from throughout the state. A multi-agency undercover operation conducted by the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office while working closely with the Wisconsin Division of Criminal Investigations. Plymouth Police Department, Sheboygan Police Department, Wisconsin State Patrol, and the Sheboygan County District Attorney's Office culminated on Friday with the issue of charges related to human trafficking against five individuals. The charges alleged crimes of prostitution, soliciting patronizing prostitutes, possession of child pornography, prostitution, resting, or resisting and obstructing an officer, possession of cocaine, and operating a vehicle without the owner's consent. According to a release from Sheriff's Lieutenant Matthew Spence, the subjects were identified by investigators who use popular publicity available online websites that were specifically generated in order to connect the individuals for the purpose of arranging sexual encounters in exchange for money. Besides conducting such operations to combat human sex trafficking, the, the release says that officials also can connect community resources to the prostitutes who are at higher risk of human trafficking, domestic violence, physical assaults, and other life-changing and degrading outcomes. And finally, motorists are being asked by the Department of Transportation to slow down and be mindful of the workers. As repair operations are done to this, to this and several areas, roadways this week, maintenance crews will be working to repair pavement on eastbound Highway 23 between Pioneer Road and County through Friday between 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. Between 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. closing the right lane each day during repairs and crews will also be repairing the road surface on Highway 32 between Howard's Grove and Manitowoc County line today through Friday. Expect to encounter flagging crews at work and it is done on both lanes between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. And that is all for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news stories on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.